home. Uh, you know, I was late. Oh, somebody just gave me an Australian chewing stick. Thanks. I was rocking. It tasted like hell, but it was kind of cool. Um, <laughs> the reason I was late was because I was writing this down. And so I'm going to read it to you and get ready. Um, people are always asking us as poets, you know, you're always complaining about this and that and the other thing, telling us you want this, you want that. Why don't you just fucking tell us concisely, what is it that you want? So I made a list. And I'm about to read it to you right now. I'm going to start with what I don't want. I don't want racism, sexism, homophobia, date rape, serial killers, CIA dope dealers, television evangelists and late night faith healers, telemarketers, politician fat cats, cigarette companies, lab rats, traffic jams, kids with guns, parents with guns, neighbors with guns, cops with guns, marines in the airport with guns, colored folks in cages, minimum wages, when are we going to have a maximum wage, road rage, anger, danger, frustration, loneliness, depression, futility, slackers who support liberal causes yet can't be bothered to vote and watch from their couches as my rights are taken away. <laughs> Multinational corporations profiting from poisoning the environment, raping human self-esteem and co-opting culture. Mass media vultures spoon-feeding damage control as infotainment. Shiny tokens in a crow's face as another poor man faces another arraignment. I am tired of seeing a woman's precious body dismembered and used to sell products. I am tired of seeing so many flags used as band-aids on a nation of sucking chest wounds while the privileged rich tell us the best thing we can do to help is by spending more money. I am tired of weak-minded Americans refusing to make a list of reasons why so many people in this world would hate us, which prevents us from ever changing those things. Is that your final answer? No, Regis Philbin! This is my final answer, fucker! Now this is what I do want. I want happiness through art and expression, through interaction with like-minded individuals who do things rather than just talk about doing things, through risking embarrassment and rejection and reaching out for that connection that makes life worth living. I want good food free of poisons. I want to walk into a supermarket and buy my rice, milk, and veggies with a poem instead of money. I want people to know I stole that last line from Allen Ginsberg. <laughs> I want people to stop falling in love with love songs on the radio and fall in love for real and write their own goddamn love songs. I want every vote cast in this country to actually be counted. I want the redneck asshole sending anthrax to everybody to be voted off the island. And as a matter of fact, I want Aretha Franklin to be installed as president. Congress better R-E-S-P-E-C-T, motherfuckers, don't make me whip out my V-E-T-O, uh. I want to pick up the phone and call Mumia Abu-Jamal and be like, yo, Mumia, let's go pick up Leonard Peltier and go see that new Jackie Chan movie, yo. And this time, you're paying, biatch. I want my dad to give me a call on my cell phone and say, hey, son, I just want to say I love you and I'm proud of you. I want that last line to not make me cry anymore. I want a tank full of gas and a sunny day and a thousand miles of open road without a single traffic cop, cross street, or stop sign. I want Calvin and Hobbes to come back now. I want a feast. I want a bean feast. Cream puffs and donuts and fruitcake with no nuts. So good you could go nuts. I want an Oompa Loompa now! I want a kick-ass girlfriend who cries with me during that scene in Toy Story 2 when Sarah McLaughlin... Where Sarah McLaughlin is singing as the little cowgirl girl gets taken to the dump because we both know how that feels, man! I want love and passion, not packaged as fashion, but as truth. I want George Harrison to know that he was always my favorite Beatle. I want you 
And I want me. And I want no space in between. 